Okay, well, I'm pretty firmly now in the Debian camp because the software just seems to work, as I've said in some of my previous videos. And even though Ubuntu and Linux Mint are easier to use, I haven't found I haven't found it to be the case that the software is often always reliable, especially especially the type of software that I like to use, multimedia, video, audio, desktop recording now sometimes. These things sometimes can have issues and bugs and just uh, just not work uh, as they should. And, and then people who use Linux and it, having it be Ubuntu that they're using get the impression that Linux doesn't work that well and really Linux works very well. The case is really more, the problem is really more I think the uh, the distro being Ubuntu and I and that's terrible to say because they're, they're representing Linux now I have some of the same criticisms that others have of them but on the other hand they've done a lot for for Linux and bringing it to the the common user like me for instance but I mean there's more to that story but that <laughs> there's other people out there who may have come to it because they knew people and Ubuntu was the easiest one to get up and running and that's and that's kind of my I guess that is kind of my story so and and I've always felt that I've had uh, problems keeping uh, everything working on, on Ubuntu I don't know it was always the XFCE desktop maybe if I would use the standard sort of install the unity desktop uh, it would work. Right now I'm running DB8 though, and I'm I've, so far it, it hasn't been that long, but so far so good, and everything as far as I can tell, running it with the GNOME desktop now, being that that's their standard desktop, and um, there's reasons I chose that. Maybe I'll talk about that in another video rather than ramble on too much. I came back to choosing that nonetheless maybe what I'll do what I was thinking some people would say I shouldn't is do like a dual boot just to test both I have I could do it in virtual machine but you can never really tell in virtual machine exactly exactly so do a dual boot and uh, test out the same applications in sort of plain um, vanilla install unity Ubuntu and in GNOME Debian 8 just to see um, and, and it is kind of clever the way that Ubuntu uh, has made the the desktop look and makes it easy for new people St install uninstall kind of like on a tablet or or something or something like that but what's going on is that even though they're doing this a lot of this stuff there's too much involved and I, from my not technical enough point of view, it has to do with the dependencies and and things of this nature. Now, one thing people have been talking quite a lot about is System D. I don't understand a lot about it. Um, I, I think mainly it's it's something that um, people who maintain servers are more. Uh, the server side of Linux are more upset about although there might be some desktop users that um, that don't like it either but sure you can talk about system D and if you're qualified and you have uh, an opinion and you have the knowledge that's fine but to me what's more important is uh, an operating system that works <laughs> that's what's more important to me where everything is put together well like DB8 seems to be uh, even though it seems kind of quaint sometimes in a way but you know everything will work or everything will work and it's not about being flashy necessarily although that's kind of nice like the Ubuntu uninstall in, in, install uninstall like you have your your tablet or something but and what I mean by work is that 
you bring up an application and it just does what it's supposed to do without crashing, without, um, you know, running up the CPU to 500% or all these things that would happen that would happen. Uh, so to me, System D isn't that, that isn't a debate that's that important. The important debate should be we need to really make our operating systems within Linux work for the average user which leads me to my third and last point because I don't want to make this video too long it's already been too long and rambling as it is there should be an easier way on Debian Debian potato potato tomato tomato however you want to say it we'll call it Debian because that's really the more formal that's really what it is there should be an easier way to add um, repos to your sources list you shouldn't have to go in by hand and do it as root. You shouldn't have to do that. Really, they should be there to be with well, the checkbox. Checkbox this, it's on. Checkbox that, it's off. You know, with warnings. This one you probably shouldn't check, kind of thing. And it seems to me that Mint might do something like that, where you can select your sources. So, 